Hey everybody, it's Robert Dunn from Art Top 10 and we're here at uh, Graham Crowley's summer show, Silent Disco, and I'm very happy to be chatting to the artist, Lara Cobden. Lara. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> it's lovely to meet you. So tell me, tell me about this fascinating picture here with this kind of crazy kind of curtain and luminous figure in the background. Um, this was actually uh, a recollection of a really strange experience that happened during lockdown, uh, early spring last year. Um, I woke up five o'clock in the morning and there was a guy on the roof um, opposite in the house opposite I know you can hardly see him there he's tiny um, and he slid down the roof and went into a little Velux window and I was kind of height of lockdown kind of going oh, I'm not sure I've never called the cops on anyone before but he's obviously burgling the house so anyway an episode happened I called the police and they said there was a local burglar in the area they were really glad to come and get him and uh, and so five cop cars turned up the police came in uh, no masks <laughs> came into my bedroom to interview me it was all very surreal so it was that whole episode anyway he, poor guy ended up it was his house he just lost his keys <laughs> and so he was trying to get in his own bedroom so I felt really guilty anyway so uh, this was just a imaginative scenario um, I actually put my daughter in as, as uh, she's got nice golden hair to uh, red hair to draw so um so i put her there i did an ink sketch of it and then i showed it to my mum and she had this really strange recollection of an out-of-body experience that she'd had when she gave birth um and she'd stood at the window and um seen her dad that had passed away just as she'd given birth so it was that's where the title comes from he asked me to come but i wasn't ready yet so it's just a kind of composite, which a lot of my work is kind of um, memory, recollection, experience, or recalled experience, and um, just piecing that together. That's extraordinary. So, 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 so again, so your, your mother had the out-of-body experience, and she saw her dad, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Who, who had died. Yeah. Not at he, the same time died. as the birth. He had died a little before I was born. And she had been called to the window by him and he'd asked her to join her, but it was actually an out of body, she was still in bed yeah. after, you know, pregnant with me. And um, so she got really emotional about that and I thought it was an interesting trigger that something had happened to me completely disparate. Had, had made her recall that. Well, it's weird. I mean, the, the, the thing to me has quite an out of body kind of spiritual well, yeah, vibe to it. I didn't even notice that. him to start with, but that's quite a freaky element in it the, mm. the, the burglar, non burglar. <laughs> <laughs> yes, poor man. Yeah. So, I mean, how, how, how did you actually paint it? Because it's got a lovely kind of white kind of sheen. Is, is it like a sort of, um, it's, you know, it's, it's on um, gesso panel. So um, I started working, and it's in, it's in oil, but there's a, an ink base underneath it because I like the luminosity of watercolour. Um, so I worked in ink first and then applied uh, oil paint over the top. So there's a lot of kind of, um, obviously the ink's soaked into the gesso and then the, the oil sits on top. So it's quite a nice balance. Yeah. It's, got, it's got an amazing quality to it. And, and actually what's quite interesting is, is the flowery bits, they're sort of in blue here, but then on the, the figure they're in white actually, aren't they? So you have sort of flipped there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just kind of interesting playing around with uh, negative space and inverted colour, yeah. Mm. What's the bar? There's a sort of... It's just the, the roof line of the houses oh, opposite. The it's the roof, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's quite, it's, it's quite fascinating because you also got a... That's outside the tree as well. Yeah, there's kind of a bit of a play between what's what's behind the curtain and what's in front um, and what's luminous and, or um, transparent and opaque. Yeah. Maybe it's something about that. The curtain has a whole other wildly, otherworldly feel to it, doesn't it? Yes, absolutely. Kind of like what's behind the curtain kind of, um, and what's revealed, what we can see, what we're imagining. Uh, that whole idea of um, kind of peeping behind the curtain and seeing, kind of neighbourly, me being a nosy neighbour, seeing someone on the roof. Um, or people guessing what's going on in somebody else's life and actually not knowing. So I quite like that idea linking with the silent disco of people dancing to their own tune, getting on with their own lives, um, and then people just observing and not knowing quite what's going on. Oh, that's really cool, actually. And are, are your paintings often like this? Do they often incorporate a curtain, or is it 
across it? Um, I don't, quite often quite patterned. There's often a pattern whether it's wallpaper or texture in the landscape. I mean, there's always lots of trees. Um, I'm a member of the Arborealists, so um, often lots of woods. Um, so a lot of interior, exterior, um, I'm, I'm interested in um, working with and windows looking out on things. And are you often, I mean, are you often trying to conjure up that sort of sense of a spiritual other realm or was that? Yeah, I think um, I'm glad that comes across. It's not, it's not very overt, but I think there's always a spiritual element in my work. Um, of, of some kind of other otherworldly sense, uh, some, something being slightly off kilter or some connection to something that isn't directly there. That's really interesting, actually. That's really interesting. Because, uh, and uh, funnily enough, Graham was talking before because my my painting is hanging beside yours, and Graham was saying he hung them together because they um they both have a sort of uh, Justin. Remind me, uh, what was it? A cascade, yeah. Justin, Justin's helped me film, and as yeah, it's a cascade is the word I was looking for. So they both got a cascading feeling, but um, yeah, I find it interesting you say the spiritual thing because in a way I always think my paintings I want them to try and you know you want to try and break down the senses of reality that people live with, don't you? And yeah, show them through another side of the curtain or show them almost like split the world open and see what's behind it. So I think that that's a weird because in my mind, in my mind that's always in my paintings as well, but mm. Ray would never. Have Possibly, <laughs> possibly known that was drifting in our heads. Yeah, no, I really like that. That's they work really well together, don't they? And um, yeah, I mean, is your work about uh, a, a veil? Oh, it's uh, my mine's actually more like a sort of about music, about prettiness in the background and chaos distortion on the front, and the black and white shapes are chaos and distortion. So it's sort of prettiness and chaos. Mm. Intriguing, because in a way, your shapes are. They're pretty in themselves, but they do add a, a sense of hazy, maybe, I don't know, chaos to it? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Just a, a, a distraction or a, a layer between, yeah. A distraction, an interesting way of talking about it. Fascinating. Yeah. Fascinating. It's really, really nice to talk. Bomb buckler.